Hi everyone, this is a photo tutorial on how to use Photopia, which is a free program that you can just get online. And you can see up here, I typed in photopia.com and I am there, so you can do the same. And then you can go to new project. If I click on new project, my keyboard pops up. So um, you can name this your last name. So I'm gonna type in H-A-G-A-N and then underscore. And we're gonna type in the word NOTAN, N-O-T-A-N. Okay. Um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to where it says width and it's not gonna be 1080. We're gonna actually go 1500 pixels wide and then we're going to go to do the same number in height, 1500. And then for the DPI, we're going to do um, 150, 150. We're going to hit OK. Or there is no hit OK. There is no OK to hit. So we just uh, go there and then we hit create. That's what I meant to say. Create and then there it is. So that is what we do first. So there it is right now. I can see my last name and then notan.psd. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to the bottom right of our um, screen here. And you can see there's about five or six, maybe seven little icons here. We're going to go not to the trash can, but the one just to the left of the trash can. Looks like a little piece of paper with, a, with an edge turned up. We're going to click on that. And that makes us, uh, that gives us a new layer. And it looks like it's got a checkerboard on it. That means it's transparent. So that is what we do first to get a new layer. And then we're gonna go over to right below our, um, our cursor. We go down to this button here. This is our rectangular select. And then we're going to drag out a rectangle or a square, it's up to you. And then you hit the fill button and the fill button or the fill, um, the, the paint bucket is what I meant to say. It's actually hiding underneath one of these tools here and it's usually underneath the gradient. Okay, so any one of these tools, they all have these little arrows at the bottom right. That means there's more tools inside of them. So if you can't find something, it's, it's usually because it's hiding underneath something else. These, um, the colors are down below. So you're gonna want to Fill this in with black. If I, I'm swapping them right now, I'm going I'm hitting the double arrow here. So the top color is the one that you are gonna be using to fill. And there we go, I just tap that, there we go. Um, in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the um, lasso tools. And you'll have two options. You can use either the lasso, polygonal lasso or the regular lasso. But that is it for now.